know you've been living a toxic life and and let's actually put it in the context of mental health because as we're coming out of the pandemic mental health seems to be like this topic that everybody is willing to sort of chat about in a different way now and the way i look at it is we just went through a whole lot of stress and we were all of our routines were changed a lot of people gained weight a lot of people you know got the vaccine which it, to your point is a synthetic it could be considered a medication so all of these toxic physical emotional and chemical toxins we were inundated with for the last two years and then we come out of the out of that and we say hey we've got a mental health problem in our world and it would be easy to say yeah because you locked us up for the last two years but what when i actually get to root cause i think actually what happened is we depleted our amino acid system even more which is leading to even more mental health which is causing you to react to your situation differently and my feeling is don't treat mental health until you treat the amino acid defic deficiency and maybe the mineral deficiency can you talk a little bit about that and and if you agree with that statement i do and i think that the mental health industry has been lying to people ever since their inception. Agreed. Depression isn't a serotonin deficiency. That was a lie. It was a marketing gimmick. You yeah. know, Prozac doesn't fix serotonin. I have measured at least 500 people, probably more, serotonin levels. And these people are on Prozac and their serotonin levels suck. It doesn't right. fix it, okay? It's yeah. a toxic drug. So the whole mental health thing is in completely the wrong direction because, you know, psychiatrists used to sit down and actually talk to people. And it, it can be therapeutic to talk to someone who will listen to you and help you work out your life situations. That is positive therapy. It is positive. That is good mental health practice. If you have a good friend or you have a pastor or a minister or someone who wants to help you and can help you spiritually, because this is a spiritual problem, that is the right way to do it. If you're going to a psychiatrist for drugs, it won't fix you. It won't get you there. It'll get you worse. So, you know, all the mass, all the mass shootings, all these crazy teenagers, they're all on drugs. They're all in their psychiatric care and they're all on drugs. And that's the reason. It isn't AR4. <laughs> Do those drugs deplete more amino acids even more is what I'm thinking. Of course, of course. Those drugs actually kill the microbiome. You know, if you want to make serotonin in your body, you have to have the right gut bacteria and you have to have tryptophan. And then the cells in your intestine, the neuroendocrine cells in your intestine, which make the serotonin, they will make it. But Prozac kills the good bacteria that are needed for your body to then interact. And it's a double, it's a double negative. There's nothing positive about it. When I was in my internship, I was at a hospital where there was a big mental health unit. And when I when we started our internship, there was a new guy there who who he's a the psychiatrist who took over the mental health unit. And he had very different philosophy. This is the middle 70s. And pharmaceutical drugs were not as prominent as they are now. And they weren't doing mass advertising on TV and magazines for people to get Prozac or you know, Abilify or any of these other toxic things. They weren't able to do it. And so when he came into the mental health unit, he was having a problem because he had too many patients for the number of beds that they had. And so he instituted a, he instituted a policy, which that every morning at six o'clock, everyone in that mental health unit went into the parking lot with him and they walked around the parking lot for an hour. He made them get outside, rain or shine, and walk for an hour around that park. And the mental health unit within two or three weeks emptied out. Because these yeah. guys, they kind of came into present time. Yeah. You know, they started making their own serotonin. Exercise is better than any drug for mental health. Exercise, mm -hmm. you get out there and you sweat and you walk or you play tennis, you do something, and it's your best therapy for mental health, okay? Mm. It's drugs don't yeah. even come close. So yes. these basic things, they're doable by every person. They don't cost any yeah. money. Can you can you overdo aminos? Like, can you take too many of them? Of the blend of perfect amino, you can't. You know, if you're getting more than you need, the body will just turn them into a carbohydrate like it does with other stuff. If it turns it into a carbo carbohydrate, does it spike glucose? Perfect amino doesn't spike glucose, and it doesn't spike in but it will probably get turned into glucose. I think if you're taking between 10 and 30 a day, you have no worries. Don't take more than 10 at once. So 10 grams, which would be 10 tablets right. or two scoops at a time with in, in a two hour window. If you take it more yeah. often than two hours, you're getting it, you're getting too much. So if you take 10 grams once a day, one to three times a day, that okay, you will be getting a lot, you will be getting enough essential amino acids as a supplement to your diet because people like to eat and these 
You know, right. you need the foods and you can eat the other foods. If you're a vegan or vegetarian, I'd start with 10, three times a day. Okay. And then you might find out that based on your activity level, you, you know, maybe you can get away with 20 a day instead of 30 a day. But that would be, it will change. It will change a person's life. It will change their life. Yeah. I've watched it change many lives. And it, this is part of why I brought you on because it just has blown me away to, to see the changes has been incredible.